Sometimes we might need to find a common base when we're working with exponential equations. If we don't have a common base, then we find the prime factorization of the base. Recall exponential property a to the m raised to the n is the same as a to the m times n. When using the above property, we may have to distribute. Let's look at example one. We see that the bases no longer match. But if we look at 27, we see that 27 would factor to 3 times 3 times 3. And so we could rewrite the 27 as 3 to the third raised to the 2x. On the other side, we have a 9. In this case, 9 could be factored to 3 times 3 times 1. So we could rewrite 9 as 3 to the second. Now that we've done that, we can rewrite the whole equation. 3 to the third raised to the 2x equals 3 to the second. Now our bases match. This is a good thing, but we need to notice that the exponent property says if we have an exponent inside parentheses raised to an exponent outside parentheses, we can multiply those exponents together. So that's the case right here. So this becomes 3 to the 6x equals 3 to the second. Now that my bases match, they will drop out and I just have 6x equal 2. Divide by 6 on both sides and I get x is equal to 1 third. In example two, again, my bases do not match. So I am going to factor them, prime factor them. And 16 again doesn't match the eight. So prime factoring 16. So, I can now see that I do have a common base, but my exponents will be slightly different. I can rewrite 8 as 2 to the third raised to the 2x minus 4. And on the right side of the equation, I can rewrite 16x to the x plus 3 as 2 to the fourth raised to the x plus 3. Now that I've done that, I'm going to simplify those exponents. I'll distribute that 3 exponent through to the piece of the exponent outside parentheses to get 2 to the 6x minus 12 is equal to 2 to the 4x plus 12. Now that I've done that, my bases match. And so I'll rewrite just setting my exponents equal to each other. Adding 12 to both sides and subtracting 4x from both sides, I get 2x 
is equal to 24. Dividing by 2, I get x is equal to 12.